Nick stared in fascination through the camera lens. The priest swept a carved horn bow with long, passionate strokes over the strings of a violin. The sound of the single violin echoed on the ocean winds, haunting, exquisite, poignant, almost lonely. He watched, mesmerized, as the priest's long, slim fingers moved deftly across the fingerboard. It was as though the music drew his soul. It was mesmerizing, hypnotic. Then abruptly, the priest stopped playing and turned slightly. Nick stared transfixed. The man was somehow strangely but indefinably familiar. Demolay lowered the violin. He turned as though sensing something, someone. Nick stood frozen. He knew he was now directly in the priest's line of sight. Suddenly, Demolay dropped the violin. Then he stared up at Nick, his features turning from utter torment to ferocious rage. It was the priest from St. Cartier's photograph. Nick slammed the window shut, his breathing shallow, his mind racing. For the first time in his entire life, Nick sensed an overshadowing evil. The robes are behind the suits. The old man's words rang unmistakably in his ears. Some legends have it, he was the devil incarnate. There was no doubting it. There on the terrace of the West Wing, less than 50 feet away, stood Lorcan de Morlaix.